Well, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, April 20th, and we're going to do a weekly update uh, online. And uh, Thursday, we'll send the email one. But I thought today we'll just do it online, so I'm going to do my devotional and a couple announcements that we have and uh, let you know what at least we're thinking about what may happen in May. And so I'm going to begin with Scripture. It's Acts chapter 6, and we're going to be doing the Bible study on this Thursday, by the way. Uh, now, during those days, when the disciples were increasing in number, the Greeks complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. And the twelve called together the whole community of disciples and said, It is not right that we should neglect the word of God in order to wait on tables. Therefore, friends, Select from among yourselves seven men of good standing, full of the Spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this task, while we, for our part, will devote ourselves to prayer and serving the Word. And what they said pleased the whole community, and they chose uh, seven men, the first of whom is Stephen. And so almost immediately, though, this man who was chosen to wait tables, that was the call of the community, has to enter into a time of defense of the faith. If you see in, in verse 8, he's already beginning to say, Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. And because of that, he was pulled before the council to basically justify, what are you doing? And, and then in chapter 7, which is what we'll be looking at Thursday night, he gives a very long defense of the faith. And, and, uh, and of course, by the end of chapter 7, we see he's been stoned because of his faith. And it got me to thinking that oftentimes in our Christian life, we're thrown into a role, what we feel is beyond our call. Um, you know, kind of like what I'm doing right now. And, and yet we have to embrace that because that's where God has led us. And so even in our Christian walk, in our daily walk, in our devotional, sometimes we may feel that, no, wait a minute, God, I feel really called to this. Why all of a sudden is this in my lap? And the simple truth is if, if it's in your lap, God probably put it there. Yeah, I know. And then it's time for you to go outside your comfort zone, outside what you feel your call is, and answer this new call. So God bless you all this week as you look at that and try to discover what your new call is in this world that we're living in right now that more than ever needs to hear the good news of Jesus Christ and that God is with us and God has not forsaken us, God is not punishing us, God is with us. And I use my duct tape Bible so you all know we all go back to our roots in times of trouble. I tried to get rid of my duct tape Bible and then coronavirus happened and I'm back to my duct tape Bible. Huh. Announcements. We'll continue to do offering by mail. You guys are doing great with that. Thank you very much for that. Um, we appreciate it. It allows us to continue the ministry of the church without interruption and that is awesome. Barb will be in the office Monday and Thursday, Monday and Thursday, from 8 to noon. And so if you have something you need, call, and she can talk to you then. She also checks mail every day and checks email every day and can respond that way on Tuesday and Thursday, if uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, if you need something. All right. Uh, Bob's Bible study is going to start the first Sunday of May at 9.30, I think. Um, you know, if that's wrong, edit this. And uh, so at 9.30, we're at Sundays, the first uh, May 3rd, I believe it is, we're going to start Bob's Bible Study. It's going to be awesome. And uh, it'll be online. And so if you, need to, if you need to do it, you need to Zoom. Um, if some of you are real uncomfortable with Zoom, talk to me. I might be willing to uh, YouTube the Bible Study. You won't be able to talk to Bob, but you could hear him and what he's saying. So you talk to me. I might. 
Uh, my Bible study is continuing on Thursdays. And like I said, we just did a lesson on Stephen, and that's who we're talking about Thursday. I'm going to start writing the questions um, right after this video is over. And so uh, you should have that Thursday in the update on the 10 questions I have about Stephen, his life, his speech, and even maybe a little hint of Paul right at the end. May worship. We have no idea yet. The uh, governor is going to talk to us tomorrow via video conference and kind of let us know what he's thinking in regards to worship and houses of worship and how are we, you know, going to be able to gather in May. So we'll have a lot more information after that. We'll put it in our Thursday update. Uh, but I would anticipate that hopefully we can meet out in the Rose Garden and uh, worship outside with some good distancing and uh, have some form of communion, maybe not what you're used to, but some form of communion. Great music, we know. We have great musicians. I hope you're checking out Facebook and, and YouTube to see the, the songs that people are putting on. And, uh, and then also, hopefully we'll have a sermon too. I sure hope so. And so, here we are today, thrown into a role beyond our call, beyond our comfort zone, but with God. And with God... Not only are all things possible, we can do it. So God bless y'all. Real good. Have a great day. Um, I'm going to have a great day. And we will talk to you, well, at least via online uh, by, by Sunday again. And we sure hope to have the YouTube streaming well for you all so that it'll be a great, great time that you're able to watch it all in one spot. That'll be so awesome. So we will talk to you all later. And again, like I said, God bless you all real good. Amen.